Sometimes I kind of think the creepier stories are the ones where they don't actually see anything. And um, I don't think I've ever actually shared a story when they didn't actually positively identify anything. And I think that's interesting as heck. Um, although they didn't actually see whatever, you know, happened, they, um, you know, it kind of it kind of had the same M.O. as some of the others, if that makes any sense. Anyway, this is uh, BFRO report number 66003 out of uh, Spokane County, Washington. Uh, what was observed was at approximately 2.15 a.m. my Labrador Retriever started barking at something outside. This is not unusual as we lived on a closed golf course, which is adjacent to Riverside State Park. Okay. Closed golf course adjacent to Riverside State Park. Uh... Yeah, okay. Anyway, that does kind of look like the middle of nowhere, though, doesn't it? I mean, you're right next to Spokane, which is uh, kind of a big town, but, you know, it's suburbs kind of bleeding into this area. The city is over here, so... Uh, okay. Anyway, continuing. Uh, what I heard next was a loud howl. At first, I thought it was a police car or an ambulance driving on highway... 291 um, that had turned on its siren, but then the sound simply went from soft to loud to suddenly stopping, so it was not a siren. I listened intently to try to figure out what was going on. About two minutes later, I heard a similar but more faint siren sound. This was not a coyote or a wolf, nor was it the sound of a neighbor's dog. The sound was different, and as I said, it sounded like a siren with only one woo. <laughs> uh, I noted the time, 2.20 a.m. sounded like it could have been a few blocks away. Uh, I thought around the Seven Mile Road. Okay, Seven Mile Road, Highway 291. Let's look for that. There's Nine Mile Road. Maybe I have to get closer to find a... No, no, I'm not seeing Seven Mile Road. Got to be around here somewhere, I would imagine. Is that a golf course? Okay, this isn't the exact spot. No, Nine Mile Falls. It's got to be in here somewhere. Anyway, continuing. The other thing I'd like to report is that we feed birds and squirrels in our yard. Approximately six weeks prior, we had our squirrel feeder torn off the tree at night. We heard a crash outside. Couldn't identify anything uh, that particular night, but the following morning we discovered the feeder's lid, which is chewed up uh, crude? C-R-E-W-E-D Okay. Uh, <laughs> into the top of, uh, on a heavy hinge. Was ripped off. We jokingly said maybe we should look for Bigfoot prints or hair in the area. Anyway, the howl was definitely something not uh, not of the ordinary. Also noticed, perhaps of note, is that the golf course has recently been mowed for fire safety. The course closed September 2018, and no maintenance was performed since. Weeds had been very high, with lots of deer and moose traveling around and through the course. The course was mowed at the request of homeowners due to fire concerns, so there was a significant chance uh, change to the 90 acres that was the golf course. Okay. 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 There was a follow-up. Uh, they have uh, they have their own map. Let's see. Can I look at this map? Open image and new tab. Can I make that bigger? No, it cannot. Okay, so... Okay, yeah, so I, 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 I had the map in the right place. Over here somewhere. Oh, there's Nine Mile Road right here. Okay. It's Nine Mile Road. Find a golf course. 
I don't know, maybe it's up there somewhere. Anyway, you get the idea, the general vicinity. Um, there's a lot of suburbs to the southeast, but there's also a lot of woods up here. There's a fairly large suburb there, but um, it's not necessarily the area they're talking about down here a little bit, and maybe up here. A lot of farmland, too. Uh, yeah, you know, lots of hills, lots of valleys, lots of places. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Okay. It's an interesting report, and like I said, it's interesting because they didn't see it, but it was something weird. They don't know what it could possibly have been. A giant woohoo noise. And then I guess it, it, it got farther away. It made the noise again and it sounded fainter because it was farther away. So, um, kind of creepy, kind of creepy. So there's that. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about all this. If there's something to it, or if you think that, uh, Maybe it was just, you know, somebody on meth freaking out in their yard. I don't know. But um, in any event, that's what I got. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this sort of thing, leave a like. If you did not like this sort of thing, well, and Sasquatch is going to come and get you. So <laughs> I'm just yanking your chain, fellas. Anyway, have a nice day. I'm out. It, it would appear you have reached the end of this video. Well, I want to thank you fellers for watching things that way. And uh, if you could uh, go ahead and, you know, share and like and subscribe. And all, all that YouTuber nonsense that they say on the interwebs, what what they, they, they do there. Uh, that'd, be, that'd be nice. Uh, Y'all have, have a nasty... <laughs>